Good morning, everyone. It's always striking that we begin a week that we hold as the holiest of weeks by skipping ahead to Good Friday. But this imagery, this beginning of Holy Week, I think is a good time to reflect on what this whole week means for us. A couple of years ago, while I was in a summer program for seminarians out in Omaha, Nebraska, a priest gave a homily that I've always remembered. And I've remembered it, which I usually don't do, because it struck me. Not that they usually don't, but this one was particularly striking. And I usually don't remember homilies, even my own. So this was exceedingly profound for me. This priest had gone and visited with a bishop in Vietnam, and they were out going to a rural, a countryside parish. And in the carriage along the way, he saw a, an ox pulling a plow behind it. But then he also saw a younger, much smaller one, following with the same as the older one. And not really knowing much about farming, the priest turned to the bishop and said, why is that the case? And the bishop said, because that's how the younger ones are trained. That's how they learn how to plow a field. Because they're not attached to the yoke, they're attached to the older ox. So that when they get bigger and stronger, they can pull the plow themselves. And it immediately hit me. So I was distracted for like the rest of Mass. Because by a way of analogy, we are the young ox. And Jesus, the older one. He is the one who takes up his cross and then teaches us how to carry it. Because he wants us to follow him. To imitate him. So he first teaches us how to do so. And he even tells his disciples to take on his yoke ourselves because it is easy and it's burden light and it's only easy and light for us because he's the one carrying its weight we are just walking alongside learning how to do so ourselves because jesus told his disciples to take up their crosses and follow him but he first teaches us how to do so so that as St. Paul says, we can make up for what is lacking in the sufferings of Christ. Because it is by way of our crosses that we get to heaven. So on this Passion Sunday, let us learn from Jesus how to carry our crosses. That is, with our eyes set on heaven. Because Good Friday is not good without Easter Sunday. We know that Calvary isn't the end. Rather, it was the moment in which we were redeemed. Our sins are forgiven. So let, our, let us carry our crosses then with hope. Because when they become overwhelming for us, we can look to Jesus as our example and our model, who three times picked himself up and persevered on in love. So if we carry our crosses with hope and with the love of God at the forefront of our minds, aided by the grace that God gives us, our Good Fridays will surely lead to our own Easter Sundays, that is, to heaven. <laughs>